Hello everybody and welcome back to episode 30 of the Order of the Golem. I'm Icon and we're going to have some good old fun today. Well, I hope the rain will stop soon. Let's see how long this is going to last. I mean, it was worth it. Just don't know where. Forced weather for Vitula. Here we go. So we have 8 of 20 days. Okay. So it's definitely going to be at least one more rainy episode at least. But, you know, we got, us, we got ourselves an orbital bombardment targeter. I think it was a great deal. Meanwhile, we're trying to convert Pariath, which uh, crash landed with Paralytic of Asia onto our base. And, uh, you know, life's good out here. Meanwhile, we're upgrading them golems and digging out a new apartment for Fariath here. So, altogether, I'm really happy with the stability of this colony so far. The only thing that's still troubling me a bit is the fact that we are defense-wise a little bit on the weak side. I'd really love to have a little bit more fighting power, fire power, whatever, however you want to put it. There's still just too much stuff not uh, not available for us. Oh, needle rolls. Let's tame them. The barb slingers are luckily killing themselves quite often. Uh, they're trying to kill. They're trying to hunt the meadow aves. I see. And here's another thing. I want to have a breakthrough here. Because, you know, it's about time that we uh, get our walking ways a little, make our walking ways a little bit shorter. There are way too many places on this map where I have to take long, long detours to get things done. There we go. Needle roll number one. Just what we need. Mallard's extra workforce is more than welcome here. But we really got to be careful about the food issues altogether. So probably I should be hunting down the Barb Slinger since there seems to be a fresh migration of them onto the map here. So there's a new squad of Barb Slingers now here. So this is... Uh, oh! Whatever, so I try. I thought we'd be able to take down more than one here, but I don't want to shoot into this situation. If I attack them here, I'll be most likely aggravating all five of them, and I can do this a lot easier. There's no need to do this to ourselves. Okay, so with that amount of animals in my, in my position... I am thinking about eating some of them. Ah, that's why they're taking those stupid long detours. I thought I, I allowed everything. Order. Unforbid all items. <laughs> Must have failed with that in the last episode. Yeah, so another thing we have now learned to create master scrolls but the devil's strand ain't grown yet so master scrolls that means we should learn be able to learn living wall here we go so as soon as i have the necessary devil's strand for that i definitely want to learn to do this we also studied mecha attachments already, so... Lorgir, food binge. Not exactly the right time for that, but I'm living on a permanent summer tile, so... You know, these things aren't that... scary for me. Okay. So there's another barb slinger giving me an opportunity. Let's do this. It's not only an opportunity for a barb slinger, it's also an opportunity 
or some nice meadow eighth steak. But barb slingers are now nicely separated into two squads. That's as good as it gets, you know. But we're going to to suffer some here. This is not going to go without wounds. But ah, the golem is tanking it. Nice. So Iba got some, but not enough to be even under um, toxic build up here. So, BD, come on, dude. If you weren't able to get here yet, it's most likely too late anyways. There we go. I like getting rid of these uh, super powerful predators as quick as possible, because barb slingers, they can easily kill one of your people if they happen to catch somebody off guard. They're really nasty critters. Okay. But we got this. Now, no immediate danger, no immediate danger. Good stuff. Okay. So now let's check out how horrible it is. So deactivate the golem and check out the costs of the upgrades. So now what can we do here? Mecha sword, mecha axe. Now these things aren't even that costy. Left arm attachment, right arm attachment, gatling cannon, hell yeah. All I need is a minigun, mining laser, that sounds useful. Extinguisher. Ballistic plate. With movement pen penalty. Lightning core processor. Okay, so each of these even has an upgrade there. So flame upgrade does destroy filth and makes them faster. Here we have armor, I guess, no, it's, it's a lot of different things there, okay. Regeneration, is it, on water? Earth is shielding, and lightning is retaliation. Sick. Okay, I bet that you can't have all of them at once or something like that, so we're going to start out with, I don't know, It's the left arm attachment, and that's the left shoulder mount. So I want to try out two things here. So I'm going to use the mecha hammer. So wait a sec, right arm attachment and left arm attachment. So we're going to do this like that. Okay. I want to check out if left shoulder and left arm are the same thing, are, are possible. I mean, I'd be surprised if not, but who knows stuff that I haven't tried out yet. Okay. Right. One thing I do notice though, all these golems are really, really a lot of work. Upgrading them and building everything there is a very, very lengthy process and these golems really take a while until they're fully ready, but on the other hand, I feel like it's a really worthwhile investment. Like, we got so powerful tanks here. I don't even know what's uh, possible with the mecha golem now. Yeah, I bet that this will be even, even much stronger. There's only an iguana, an ostrich, and an emu left. One day we will finish that lizard skin drape. 
Ah, uh, one of my golems accidentally hit a trap. What a waste. Of the trap, I mean. The golem should be fine. These dudes are a little bit too tough to be taken down just by one trap. So, duh, that conversion goes quite well. Let's harvest some of these plants. Maybe somebody will do this at some point. Let's see. Beatty should be actually busy with all these things. Why is Beatty that slow? Oh, Beatty got a peg leg. That's why. And Beatty got a brain scar. Oh, man. Poor Beatty. Ugh. I was uh, wondering why he was that uh, slow. And it's from a lever action rifle, so that's a stray bullet from his own dudes that uh, crippled him. I love it when that happens. Not uh, her, I'm sorry, her. And since BD is uh, pretty much married to Troll, we also can't do anything. We, we should, can't just banish BD just like that. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, I hate it when that happens. So, what kind of quest spawns right now? Colossal Monument. These always make my computer lag. Four different tech prints. Phoenix Armor. Now that's... That's quite tasty. Uranium is also a pretty nice reward. 28 on 43. And tons of different materials. 33 days. 28 on 43. So, let me check. So, 43 in one dimension. Oh my god, that's really huge. Yeah. Is it one that I can, uh, must be completed? So, I could be removing that afterwards. Nobody would care. You know, let's do this. I mean, how much uh, construction power do we have here? I could add an end slice into that. Let's do this. Like, seriously. A phoenix armor and uranium. That's just so good. I mean, sure. This is going to be massive, but... Oh my god. Yeah, it's just like that. It's just as big as I thought. But at the, at the same time, you know, we can just tear it down once we're done. It's just that easy. Just gonna get rid of it afterwards. My god, I need to free up some space there before I can do this. So we seriously have to carve away this little piece of mountain there. Okay, let's have some fun. So is Troll actually a skilled miner? No. But Iba is. So first off, let's get rid of that. So we got 33 days of uh, time. It's going to be quite a uh, tough endeavor. I like it. Just that rain's a bit annoying, but well. I brought that on myself. Alright, the only thing I really dislike about this is that we got to do this uh, out of our uh, base. This is making me a tiny bit nervous, but you know, could be worse. Okay, I think now we should have the, at least the room to put down the blueprint somewhere. I think this is maybe the largest of these quests that I've ever done. Yeah, it definitely is. Alright, so... I am actually considering to put Troll onto this job. You know, she's a, he's a fast learner, and... Uh, bam! Okay, so we really need to uh, place blueprints 
as much we need to do as much as we can with bone let's see walls bone column bone steely okay I've got to check out what kind of uh You know, just uh, for now, create everything out of bone, which is uh, possible to be made out of bone. Okay, so what's now lacking is flooring. Can I floor? Oh yeah, I can't even floor the ground with bone. I hope that's uh, showing up here. Bone China? Oh no, no, it doesn't show up. Okay, so we'll have to work around here. That's okay. So what's uh, what's here available? Stone block wise, my stockpiles aren't that impressive. So I got a lot of granite. Let's work with granite first. Granite tiles. Okay, I'm going to build those steelies out of uh, serpentinite. Or, wait a sec, no, even better. We're going to make them out of... Oh, I can't make them out of uh, wood. It's not possible, eh? Okay. So, yeah, but I'd say serpentinite should be way to go. I feel like this is a very, very fitting endeavor also for for this faction, you know? Okay, so the TLDR here, we're going to need granite and uh, serpentinite in pretty, pretty large amounts. So let's help ourselves to a couple of those. All right. So, let's see. I'm going to forbid the work on these bone creep tiles for now, because I personally think they'd be a waste of my workforce right now. So, let's see, whoever is constructing is supposed to be not doing anything else. Alright, so my constructors have now a top priority on these things. Wonderful. Okay, now. Yeah, first we're, uh, we're getting all these uh, stones into our base. But that's very, very necessary, you know. So. Let's cut those stones. I'll suspend the endicide uh, chunk job for now that ain't really that important right now other things are way more important okay so how about offering this thing a cool cabinet okay dudes so let's see we're still holding stuff mm, okay I'm a little bit worried that I'm losing a bit much time here, but at the same time, I really don't think it's bad. So... Okay, I need to put this onto... Proper orders here. There we go. Because Troll right now is carving the wrong stone blocks, and that's just unacceptable. The biggest problem here will be that we would we, we might get attacked here. If that's gonna happen, that's gonna be really bad. An attack could be setting us back quite a lot, but you know, it's just the basic risk we got there. But beyond that, it's gonna be really beautiful.
and it's also going to be a terrible amount of work. But, you know, I love taking big armors as a reward because that will make our entire colony so much safer. I think those Phoenix armors even give you the ability to fire fire. <laughs> so. This, uh, these armors, they come with a, uh, with a useful side effect. Okay. So, we're going to eat some of our animals now. So there we go. Two of these, three of these. Okay. I don't need that many. Okay. So. But I'm, I'm pretty positive that we will get this done in 32 days. Like, this should be really possible. There's merely this uh, food issue that's uh, bothering me a bit. Okay, let's let's stop these uh, taming efforts. We've got more pressing matters. Speaking about which, there's Devil Strand coming together now. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to. Uh, switch troll away from the cooking duty. I mean, right now, our dudes are getting something done here. You know? As long as the work on the monument is going forward, everything is just fine. It's just unacceptable that we're stopping to work on this. Okay, nice. Oh dear. So Rezessi's plant skill is non present. Oh, Lorajir has a inspired recruitment. Too bad that we don't have anybody to re uh, to recruit right now. Cause Fariath isn't really a prisoner. Fariath is just uh just in that chamber for conversion issues. Okay. Yay! We finished work on one of these golems. How about that? So, we're going to prioritize the work here. It's just that important right now. We need those resources. And Troll is just the perfect person to do all that work. Wolfwatched are just that versatile. But, you know. The advantages of playing in a fantasy world. You should have some, after all. Okay, so during the night shift, I'm pretty sure we should be able to get most of the resource done for those steelies. I mean, 125 per large and 250 per huge. So that's 500. And we got three of these. That's 375. So 875 in total. Now we really need those. We actually really need those. But so far, so good, I'd say. Let's check out. Well, Pearl's recreational value is still on a very, very high level, so whatever. Okay. The colony cook is back on duty. Actually good timing. Just when people started to need fresh grub. Okay. 
this is a really really huge project but i think we really got the necessary workforce it's just uh we're we're merely two and a half days in and we already see like i don't know it's already uh, probably something between 10 and 20 percent if we keep working in, in that speed there's going to be no problem whatsoever Yeah, it's good. Yeah, Iba fails around. That's okay. It's a uh, learning process. Okay. No fine meals today. We need to cut them chunks. Yeah, so cutting all the serpentinite chunks is just not necessary. Because... After we're done with the steelies, I will be still having a... Uh, we'll still have a few uh, stone blocks there afterwards. That's quite good. Because I like to make my furniture out of these. I like that green color. Okay. So that was day three. Some of these sarcophagi are already done. Nice. The most important part when we're going to deconstruct that will be to remove the roofing first. Otherwise, this will be a death trap. Okay. Oh dear, now I know what happened there. I was just wondering why we're still cutting serpentinite chunks. I didn't uh, put up ingredient radii for this. The troll was uh, now grabbing... I guess these here, maybe. Brumbos. Oh, boy. Five of them? Ooh. Oh, I'm very, very tempted. Out of two reasons. It's not only that we could make sick horns for our uh, flesh golems. It'll also fill my my freezer quite well, you know. But on the other hand, five Brumbos are nothing to sneeze at. And attacking them would be quite problematic if we'd get attacked by raiders or, or anything else. That just can't happen naturally, you know? Yeah. That's just... Uh, that's just... Uh, very, very scary, you know? So, oh dear. Yo, BD, my slow friend. What's BD's job here, actually? So, ah, BD was one of, was my plant person. That explains a lot to me why so many of these plant jobs were... Why I had the feeling as if plant work is not getting done accordingly anymore, but, you know. Ah, oh, well. I know that there are magic users there that just uh, can't solve that problem for me. But, you know. Just like I thought, we're being raided now. But it's just, uh, it's just tribes people, so... Shouldn't be that sick. But they come as breach raiders, so we... We won't be able to to hide behind a walls that effectively. So, well, I'd say this is a good spot to end this episode here, and this fight will be the opening of the next episode because we're already pretty close to the 30 minute mark, and this is going to be something bigger. I don't want to, uh, I don't want to hurry this at all. <laughs> So, thanks for watching, everybody. Next episode, we will hopefully finish that monument and we'll see what will happen in between. Drop me your comments down below. Leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And of course, consider subscribing. There's daily content coming up from my side. You'll just need to turn on the notification bell and you'll stay informed. Have a nice day. See you soon.